located in the vicinity of Bandar Kotwarisan in Malaysia's Lano State. Xiamen University Malaysia is the first overseas branch campus set up by a renowned Chinese university. It's built on an area of 150 acres with a planned total floor space of 470,000 square meters. Different from the main campus, the medium of instruction for class in Xiamen University Malaysia is English. Currently, the university has 13 undergraduate programs with 1,900 students from Malaysia, China, and other Asian countries. According to the assistant president Zhang Ying, the number of students is expected to continually increase in the future, as well as the number of programs. We will, by the end of this year, we will get about uh, 2,800 or 3,000 students. And also by next year, the end of next year, we will have about uh, 4,500 students on campus. So our goal, uh, initial goal uh, for the students number is by 2020, our students number will be uh, stable at 5,000 students. So, so far we got 13 programs. Uh, so one new program, like electronic and e electrical engineering, uh, will be uh, started uh, by this September. In future, all our programs will get bachelor, master, and PhD. In Xiamen University, Malaysia, highly educated lecturers are recruited to guarantee the quality of teaching. Over 90% lecturers for degree levels are PhD holders. Variety is another feature for the lectures on campus. Apart from the lectures sent from the main campus in China, there are also lectures recruited from local and 11 different countries. Uh, up to now, about 15 percentage we recruited locally. 29 percentage are seconded from our main campus and we still have 15 percentage recruited from other countries outside Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, actually, for the requirements for our recruitment academic staff, we wish we can find some candidates who have a great research output. Meanwhile, they should be good at teaching. Another requirement is for degree level lectures we require the candidates should be PhD holders. That's our basic requirements. Xiamen University Malaysia also provides students with a colorful campus life. They not only can gain professional experiences from their studies, but also can relax themselves by attending various club activities. So currently we actually have 34 clubs. Um, nine of these actually sport. The rest of it, which is 25, is non-sport. If students want to actually join, they can join any of it. There's no limit. And um, if they are very active, they can join sport. We have swimming clubs, we have basketball, volleyball. Tennis is new, so it depends on the students. But if they feel they want to focus in course, like a business course, we also have similar course for it. Um, this course will help them in terms of the current situation of the economics. Like they will do some talks, they will do some team building activities. And if students are interested to magic or even board games, we also have this kind of entertainment based clubs. Yeah. So we have a lot, it depends on the interest of the students. Founded by the Malayan Chinese Mr. Tanka Key in 1921, Xiamen University has a historical bond with Malaysia. Given this fact, former Xiamen University President Zhu Chongshi said the building up of Xiamen University Malaysia is a historic reciprocation. This school, we don't take away, we don't take 我们都要留在这个地方，用于这所学校的建设和发展。厦门大学正朝着校主陈家根当年 
定下的，厦门大学要成为一所世界一流大学，要能与世界大学相学涵的这么一所大学的目标，奋勇前进。厦大能不能成为一所世界一流的大学？其中一个很重要的因素，就是我们能不能把。马来西亚分校建成马来西亚乃至于东南亚、亚洲最优秀的一所大学，能够为马来西亚乃至于为更多的国家和地区贡献我们的一份力量。所以，我想我的愿景就是啊，马来西亚分校一定要建成一所啊最优秀的一流的大学。Under the background of Belt and Road Initiative, Shamil University Malaysia has great potential to accomplish its ambition. So far, the first phase construction is completed. The second phase construction will start from August. In the end, the campus will become as attractive as the main campus. For those who are interested in joining this university, a promising future is waiting for them. Shamil University reporter Adam reporting from Sabah.